We checked out a trailer for this. I have no expectations that you guys will enjoy it, but I have heard that this series is pretty hype. Hope you'll enjoy it. Let's check out episode one of Mission Yozakura. Oh, traffic accidents. People dead when they die. This is starting off pretty fucking sad, bro. Is this supposed to be a happy enemy or a sad enemy? Why is it confronting me with the fucking existential crisis that if you get attached to somebody, eventually that is the root cause of all your fucking sadness and depression. So you should never be attached to anyone. Be alone. Be a Sigma male. And if you have nothing to lose, then you can never feel sadness again. Why are we starting off like this, bro? The blue hair girl's her family? <gasps> Is she sister? Friend? What is that ring? Five petal things. Yozakura family, here we go. Cherry blossom ring. The ring that she was wearing. He got a scar on his eye too. Fuck you, my parents just died. Leave me alone? I was playing harder to get than any girl. Well, I don't know. To, is this supposed to be a funny anime? We start off fucking sad, but okay, at least he's got some kind of good friends that's reaching out. Why is he foaming at his mouth? This is just socially anxious. That's the formula in anime. Then do it, bitch! Eleventh time's the charm. Mutsumi is Shy Lily's name. Okay, Mutsumi. He's probably just going back to the whole, uh, what's it called, right? It's like the attachment thing, like the losing thing. So it's like, yeah, you remember how I literally just said, don't get close to other people for fucking, you know, losing people. He's not pushing Musumi away? That's my boy, but she said Yoroshi. The subs are playing into it more than what it seems like. This is not a mommy situation, but she is kind of like doting over him like a, like a mother. Don't forget to eat your carrots. Yes, ma'am. That's my boy. Hmm. 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 Oh, her last name is Yozakura. I thought the, the other, the boy's name was. Okay. okay. And the ring there again. Damn, seniors are asking her out? That Tanaka guy? Okay, okay. So they're just childhood friends. And she's just trying to console them because they're childhood friends. Okay. And she feeds us. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Who the fuck? Sensei? Sensei? Hirukawa Sensei? Like a school teacher? Is allowed to just do that shit? <laughs> to students? Okay, Sensei. Kinda sussy. No presents. What? This is kinda creepy, right? Wait. Ring, 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 ring. I can't tell if the sensei actually means school teacher or like, is, is he a butler for Mutsumi? Because like, look, right, he's got the butler gloves, right? I don't know. But the fact that this character is also someone that never opens his eyes, you know, these characters, they're immediately you're suspicious of them, right? But the really cool moments is like when they actually do open their eyes for the first time. It's supposed to, and then that's like supposed to be like a real important moment, right? What is up with this white streak? What is up with this white streak of hair? Oh, is someone spoiling in chat? Okay, good call. Good guy, I'm not lucky. Remember, guys, spoil equals ban. Think about what you are doing by spoiling things that the anime episode has not said yet. I don't care if the trailer shows that. Be careful, okay? Be careful. Sorry, what? So he is the actual teacher. He's got an office here. Hmm. He's a pretty nonchalant, pretty casual. And the same ring, the cherry blossom ring as well. 
Have fun without me for the 10th time. I'm gonna reject you tomorrow for the 11th time. Bro, the scar on his eye is kind of really sick. Nah, that was probably bad timing. <laughs> wow, the scar on his eye is really sick. <laughs> look, 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 if you're in high school and you have like a scar on your eye like that, motherfucker looking like Zoro from One Piece. I don't know, it looks kind of cool, right? Like if you, if you saw like a grade 8 kid with like a scar like that, you know? You're kind of badass, but yeah, it's sad, sad. There's a sad reason behind it, sad reason. Hiruka, vice principal, okay. Okay. What's with those black gloves? Yeah, what the fuck? Why is he so close? Another person shows up right beside you, even though there's like empty ones beside. No shot you took. Are you showing nudes of Mutsumi right now? No. A vice principal of the school? Has ludes of a, a student? What? Okay. It's not ludes, but like, bro, you're a straight up vice principal. You fucking eat her bento, you sit steal. Oh, I love your eggs. You take pictures of her secret? What the fuck is going on, Sensei? You want her evaluation of a childhood friend? What the fuck? I think that this one's even more fucked up because, like, you see how she's fully covered? And, like, you're thinking to yourself, well, I would think uh, it's like a panty shot or some kind of, like, you know, showing skin. But I would go even beyond that and double down and say that this is even more degenerate than a panty shot because it's a fully clothed PE outfit specifically in high school that is the fetish. Like, he is on a different level of the iceberg, right? The tip of the iceberg is like fucking this panty shot, you know, cleavage, thighs, whatnot. And then as you get bottom of the degenerate tier list, like their fetishes get a lot specific. And, and, and another example is the middle school, like a swimsuit. Sometimes you would think a bikini is like pretty etchy, right? But then there's a group of people that find a fully covered middle school, you know, swimsuit with the name tag on it as even more because they're fucking degenerate. <laughs> Why are you showing me this, bro? Yeah, someone get this guy fired! At, at, at home? At home? At, at home? You got... What? How would you have pictures of her at home? Five? I thought this meant 5 p.m. at a park somewhere, but this is the age at five. So, like, he must be, I mean, he had the fucking ring, right? He must be, like, fucking Mutsumi's, like, fucking dad or fuck, I don't know. They, 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 there, there has to be a reason he's not a stranger. This is weird as fuck, though. Three? We're getting younger? Three now? Sussy. Oh, he's voice changed. What are you, fucking shadow guard? <laughs> I've been watching over Mutsumi from the shadows all this time. We hide in the shadows, too. Hunt the shadows. Shadow God. Wait, why do they have all X's on them? Is that the captain of the school sports, you know, the, the soccer club? So if they have an X on it, did you kill them? What did he do? Where are these students? Why do they have an X over them? And this guy doesn't. Is he the next on the fucking hit list? Uh, yeah, the, the captain of the soccer team. Graciously asked? <laughs> Graciously asked? Bro! Bro! This vice principal is on hit! He might be the worst! Okay, remember a hundred girlfriends? Remember remember the vice principal and the hundred girlfriends? Remember her, Baba? Yo, Baba was kind of fucking cracked, right? She was like running around fucking just sticking her fucking throat deep throwing students. That's bad. That's bad. I would argue this is worse. The, I, I, in the tier list of shitty vice principals, this guy might be fucking worse. He's got this on film. He's got this on film. <laughs> Are we next? Are we next? Is he after us? No! Dude, our parents just died. Help me out, bro. Mutsumi will open the door and save us. The biggest siscon there is. This is all for the sake of my beloved kid sister. Still fucking creepy. In fact, 
very creepy not still creepy it is just creepy from the fucking beginning but the biggest siscon there ever was what the lolly what the fuck huh huh twin tail ringlet lolly shows up in all white and just does something beep and now they're gone and she saved him Okay, that was fast. Like a flashbang? I don't know. All these characters are just fucking weird. <laughs> this is Mutsumi's family? So this is the lolly on the bottom right, right? So, okay, this is the other character we saw in the trailer. Right? His head's a bucket? Wait, what about the bucket on his head? She's fucking huge. <laughs> bucket Kun is fucking huge. What is he hiding? Does he have like the cutest face, right? Like, if you have, like, a super huge imposing body like that, maybe beneath the bucket, it's, like, the, the cutest face ever. <laughs> Holy shit, he's huge. The bucket guy is terrified. You see his mannerisms? The bucket guy is fucking terrified. So he's, the, the, the contrast, the gap mowing here is huge intimidating looking monster that is actually a soft. <laughs> Nana was the bucket guy because he's hiding behind Mutsumi, yeah? Blood related? Mansion? Okay. Big sister. Big sister. Well, I mean, they're already so fucking young. I mean, it's the same shit, I guess. Is he in a trash can? Is he in a trash can? Wait, 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 wait. He's in a trash can and there's controls around. And he's wiping a fucking gun and they all have that ring. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Shion. Yo. <laughs> the most softest voice actor. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Get more. I mean, it is called like Nishin Family Yozukaru Yosu or something, right? So they're all spies. They're all spies under this symbol of the ring. Interesting. And I'm sure the older brother, right? Mutsumi's older brother is also a spy because he has, you know, the ring as well. Spies. Sure. <laughs> 10 plus years secret. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Instead of, what did you say? Instead of eggplants and radishes, we deal in guns and intel. Isn't it kind of the same? Oh yeah, just not, not, a little bit different. Just a little bit different, but pretty much the same. I don't think this is a prank, bro. What is your goal here? What are you spying on? Yeah, hold up. What did you say? Yeah, what? There's a review page for spies, but you're supposed to be hidden. Does that make sense? I don't know. Him, the vice principal. The number one male spies that female spies want to be targeted by is <laughs> actually a heartthrob. Like, girls actually, like, really love this guy. Huh? I mean, it's saying, you know, female spies want to be targeted by the male spies. He's also number one in a hatred size by a miles. Okay, he's got a lot of haters. Eldest son. Absolute degenerate, but in spy capability, he's the best. Cuz Mutsumi. Oh? Someone's trying to kill her. Hmm? Spies on social media. <laughs> Mutsu Mutsu and her entire This isn't Mutsumi's social media, right? There's no way she would do... I feel like the Vine's principal will be catfishing as this account though. Mutsu Mutsu. I, I don't know. 623,000 follower count? I'm not sure what that The hair is from the incident. Okay. 
that that's why he's been taking pictures of Mutsu Mutsu. No, he's been taking pictures since she was five and three. This does not, there wasn't some kind of fucking flip. There wasn't like, oh, because of his accent, he felt so guilty that he fawns over her and now she takes degenerate pictures. No, he's been already doing that, but okay, interesting backstory. Okay. He's like super overprotective because he fucked up. <laughs> he let us live. <laughs> Bro, just like watch you behind with that knife. So is he the main antagonist then? Like I'm trying to think of like who are we fighting? Who is the evil people? What is the you know the conflict here? It seems like we're trying to fucking just you know survive from the vice principal. <laughs> I can't tell if they're all actually blood related or not. Alarm for when he arrives? <laughs> so our siblings will save us from the vice principal. This lolly fight with the bare hands? I mean, she took the gloves off. I'm, I'm waiting for her to throw some fucking hands. So, after each of these fights, there's a 42% chance that one of you guys will be hospitalized for six months? What kind of fucking family is this? House would burn down, it's happened before? Where are you getting these stats from? Mutsumi, your family's fucking crazy. I still want to see her throw hands. Look, she's so ready. <laughs> you married? Already? Uh, this is the funniest thing here. <laughs> I can't get over it every time Mutsumi calls her big sister. Cause like, look, look, look. Big sister! <laughs> I don't know. Cause she just looks so tiny. I know Mutsumi is like what? She's like in high school. Like she's pretty young too. But like this drill lolly. <laughs> big sis. But she's so fucking tiny. That'll just solve the problem. Somehow, the vice principal won't hunt us down because we get married. Would they not get even more upset? Okay. You only have to exchange rings to marry. So we need to just exchange the ring, then we get married. And then if we're married, the rule number one of the family, no killing of family members. Oh, it's a, it's a double-sided ring and you give one half to the other. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sister fetish, but like, why is the loss so ironclad? What would happen to him if he broke it? Hmm. Yeah, but if you get close, then you know they might die and you might suffer again. <laughs> what the fuck? We're getting rejected in a nice way right now? Aww. This is such a weird way of rejecting, but in like she's like the only one that actually understands how he feels. But like, I don't know. It's like join her family, and she's like, no, he will not join her family because he lost his family. And now he's suffering, and yes, she is speaking for him. But it's, it's in a nice way. But this rejection in its nice way is funny. It's too cruel, is it though? God damn! What if I want a family? Yeah. Everyone else here seems pretty reasonable. But the cognitive dissonance of them getting closest? Oh, I want to see this fight. He's already here, dude! Oh, what the fuck did you show up? Are we dead? You got around them all, huh? Throw hands, throw hands, come on, fight. Guilty until proven innocent is how I roll. How do we prove the innocence then? Oh! Oh, this drill rally is like the strongest. Okay, the garbage can? Nanao! Nanao! <laughs> John Smith? Wires? John Smith! He's doing fucking... <laughs> no, not the garbage can armor! 
What are you gonna do with it? It's your house too, bro. Oh, oh my, oh. What the fuck? That was like slow motion, real time. Pop, pop, pop. Eat single wire. I guess Julian's. It's like cutting, cutting. Is she like, I guess, second eldest then? She's game oriented. CGI drones are strong? Or is he just gonna fucking go like this and just kill it all? No killing! I know he won't die, but like to shoot fucking actual bullets at your big bro's kind of crazy, but still. It's that kind of family. Yeah, but apparently you're allowed to fucking fight with bullets. Did you just take my jacket off? The fuck? Why are you stripping me? The fuck? Okay. Secret? Bye-bye? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Huh? You're probably not, but where am I going? Just getting locked up? Oh! So he took the jacket off because he can, I guess, transform, huh? Because he's the guy with the cap before, right? Interesting, he can transform. But like, old bro should know that this is a fake. What is a gun and a knife? <laughs> Not the cat! Maybe it's all part of the plan. It was a double bait! Mutsu wait, 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 wait. The, the mu real Mutsumi is back here? Maybe the real Mutsumi is the, the, the redhead that the, the Tayo? Wait, 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 wait. Where's the real one? That's Mutsumi, right? <laughs> Go out there and be a hero, bro. You're a main character. Who makes these mad? They're so fluid. It just comes off so quick with the hair and everything. I bet he's willing to even theorize that, like, Tayo's family death was all planned to get some kind of sympathy so Tayo could get closer to Mutsumi to kill Mutsumi. Like, he's so schizo that I bet he would even think about the possibility of that. Imagine that. Killing your own parents. It's all part of the plan. Huh? You've already been a failure of a big bro, dude. Leave her alone. He really is the main antagonist of the show. No smartphone! Bro, she's the unnecessary here. Tayo! Tayo, show up and do something, bro! Something got stabbed. You hear that? What, 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 what just got What the fuck? He stabbed himself? To prove a point? What, what? Is, is this reverse Yandere? How does this work? This is Yandere, like, right? But, like, he, like, Stabbing himself to show his love for Mutsumi and saying like, even if you stab me like this is so intimate, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I would give up my own life. He's proven that right now. Oh, God. This is reverse Yandere? Is that a thing? Tayo, do something, bro. Ta oh, oh, here we go. Main character moment. Hmm? Just like you. Oh, that. So he'll get over his trauma through him. That method that your sister said. Oh, the ring. Give me the other ring. We get married. It's as simple as just putting on a ring though. And he just like can't hurt us anymore. Oh, that's a risk. Okay, okay. I'm surprised you let the ring go. Shouldn't you catch it with your fucking strings? Oh, ow, ow! Oh, to like prove a point, he's willing to do this. Oh, God, though. Oh, oh, that's, oh! It's quite the declaration, though. <laughs> nah, that was kind of funny. Yo, where did the cuts go in his hand? I know he like cut his hand up, but like, it just where's the blood come maybe from the inside? Hello, big brother in law? Yeah, Nissan. Blood on her hair? That's fine, it's an intimate moment.
Oh, let's go, Tayo. Big bro, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> He's still cross dressing. I mean, you don't know what he had. What that really means? Now we're a spy now, right? We have to be a spy. It's not simply marrying, right? What does that mean? <laughs> okay, and that is the episode. And it's a pretty interesting premise, right? It's like spy family, not spy X family, but it's a family of spies. They all have their own interests and quirks and their powers. And the main antagonist seems to be the older brother in at least this episode. But now that we're married in, he can no longer harm us. I'm sure he's going to be a little bit of a conflict still because he's still a big syscon. But the goal is to basically prove that we are worthy of Mutsumi. And there's like this um, theme of the trauma of being not wanting to get attached to people anymore. Because if you get attached to someone, that is the root cause of all suffering, right? I think a lot of people can relate to this theme of like, you know... You would never get hurt if you never had anyone to love in the beginning. So I will never, you know, go out of my way to get attached to people. That's exactly how I used to live in college and high school too. Very edgy, very edgy. But then you realize that that's a coward's way of living. And by realizing that the older bro, right, he's living the same way and he's making Mutsumi make that kind of face. Taiyo realizes I can't do that anymore moves forward. It's pretty good at one episode. Pretty good first episode i'm just thinking like how far can this story go in terms of the overall plot we don't know what the plot really is like is there a bigger antagonist threat out there what does it really mean to get the ring but for the first episode i think this is pretty good hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then we can continue watching rest of how many episodes is there there's like 27 episodes so i hope you guys enjoyed this one but hey that's it for me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist with more content and until next time take care